Today we're looking at three recent chupacabra sightings. Two of them happened about a year ago in Texas. And the third one might be the most shocking of all time. A chupacabra is a cryptid creature, first reported in 1995 to have killed eight sheep in Puerto Rico. It is often described as four and a half to five feet tall. Alien-like eyes that glow red with feathery spines that start at the base of the head and end at the tail. Its victims are primarily farm animals like sheep or cows who have had the blood completely drained from their bodies through three puncture wounds in the neck. El chupacabra sightings have been on the rise all around the world. But has any of them been confirmed to be a real chupacabra? Two of the most recent sightings occurred in Texas with both creatures being caught on camera. Scott Black of Houston, Texas took photos of a strange creature he described as big, long, with pointy ears, a long tail, and no skin or fur. Animal control expert Claude Griffin believes it's just an unfortunate result of someone's attempt at crossbreeding exotic pets. To me it just looks like a wild dog on the loose. Then in Ratcliffe, Texas, the Stock family has caught what they believe to be a baby chupacabra. As you can see in the video, it is small, hairless, and has large claws. Brent Ortego, a wildlife diversity biologist with the Texas Park and Wildlife, has a different opinion. He says it's just a small canine that's suffering from mange. In the Kolomna region of Russia, just 100 kilometers south of Moscow, a farmer woke up to find 30 of his sheep had been attacked and killed by some unknown creature. There was a significant amount of blood, as the sheep's arteries had been cut to suck out their blood. This was a typical style of killing associated with the chupacabra, which began to make its presence known in Russia since April of 2006. According to the farmer, 30 creatures were virtually drained, and they had experienced a similar attack earlier that year when they lost 8 sheep. However, a local official went on record saying that stray dogs were most likely the culprits and our veterinarian doctors have dismissed the talk of drained blood. All the sheep had a working heart muscle, so there is no chupacabra, she said. The farmer, of course, completely disagrees, claiming it would be nearly impossible for stray dogs to be able to overcome the large fence that surrounded his sheep. To this day, there has been no credible evidence to support the existence of a chupacabra. Through testing and evaluations, creatures that have been caught or bodies that have been discovered all turned out to be exactly what Brent Ortego stated, some sort of canine suffering from mange. The original and most important chupacabra description cannot be trusted according to the writer and professional skeptic Benjamin Bradford. After a five-year investigation into the eyewitness account from Madeline Tolentino of Puerto Rico that launched the legend, it became apparent that her description was influenced by the creature from the sci-fi horror film, Species. Miss Tolentino believed that the creature and events in the movie were actually occurring in Puerto Rico, and this seriously undermines the credibility of the chupacabra as a real animal, according to Bradford. Sounds like quite the conspiracy. So, now I ask you, what do you think is more likely to exist? Chupacabra or Bigfoot. For more on the conspiracy of Bigfoot, I invite you to check out this video from our friends over at All Time Conspiracies. Wow, yet another great video from Epic Wildlife. It seems the evidence for and against the existence of the Chupacabra is compelling in either direction, just like the evidence for and against the existence of Bigfoot, that other great American legend. So head on over to All Time Conspiracies where we look at the evidence for and against the possibility that Bigfoot might exist.